YouTube, this is your girl, Carmen Kaboom, broadcasting live from traffic. I'm hot as fuck, and I'm mad as fuck, and I'm mad as fuck because of the idiots that have inundated my Instagram page under a certain post that I posted about a fat motherfucker. And as a fat girl, I am very qualified to speak on behalf of fat other fat girls. And I wish that these fat motherfuckers would develop a thicker layer of skin on top of the extra layers of skin that they already have. I, I mean, they say they're so confident, but why are they so insecure? Fat motherfuckers. And I'm so sick of the asses wanting everybody to accept them as they are. You're not going to make me feel guilty because I say what I say about your fat ass. This shit is, it has to stop. And they need to know that the shit does not look good. You look nasty when you don't have on proper clothes as a fat motherfucker. And I'm so sick of this shit. I mean, it's bad enough. As a fat woman, I know that my fat jiggles and wiggles and moves without me moving a lot of times, the shit is not attractive. You look at Ooh, this loud motherfucker. Whew, let me let this one go. All these country loud motherfuckers. Whew. You look nasty as a, when you're naked as a fat person. That does not look good. And so many of these fat motherfuckers are trying to get naked and develop a skinny girl complex. And then a lot of these fat ass dudes, they trying to develop a, a thin, sexy man complex. You are a fat motherfucker. Fat is not beautiful. No matter how much you try to manipulate it and, and re-dress uh, it and all of this and all of that. And some fat ass dude came on my page today. Came on my page and tried to direct my train of thought. Tried to program me to get into conformity of his mindset. A lost fat motherfucker. Endangered fatherless. A fat, endangered fatherless, dumbass, fat motherfucker cannot tell me a motherfucking thing but where and which way to go to Popeyes? That's the only way you can tell me. Which way to go to uh, visit Little Debbie? That's the only thing that you can tell me. You can't tell me a motherfucking thing. You can tell me, but I'm not gonna listen. I'm not gonna listen. I'm not gonna listen. And these motherfuckers in this generation, they're so such de degenerates. They don't want to listen to sound doctrine. They they are allergic to the truth. And I'm so tired of these motherfuckers. Oh, they have the right to live in their own tr truth and live and be comfortable in their own skin. Of course they do. And I got the right to have an opinion about it. And I'm so sick of these motherfuckers trying to take my motherfucking tongue. You're not going to do it. And I will not conform to these idiots. And this fat ass dude, this fatherless misguided, untrained, fatherless idiot, fat ass idiot. Before I talk about his fat ass, let me tell you about this stupid ass slut who has a, her ass as her profile picture. Her ass, somebody who got an ass as their profile picture can't tell me a motherfucking thing. You can't tell me nothing, you nasty, desperate slut, bucket, calm down the whore. You can't tell me a motherfucking thing. Oh, she got so offended. She said that she, she announced. Why you got to announce that you're going to unfollow? Just unfollow, bitch. Just unfollow. I don't give a fuck, especially if you don't add value to my life. And most of the time, they don't. You don't pay my bills. So why do I give a fuck about your ass? I'm following. I can't miss what I can't measure. And I damn sure can't miss what I never, ever had. They think they be hurting your feelings when they say they are going to unfollow. As soon as you unfollow, somebody else going to replace your follow. So, I don't give a fuck. Follow, follow, follow. You stupid bitch. You follow, but you have no leadership. You have no brain capacity. Huh. What, why do I give a fuck about you 
unfollowing. I don't give a fuck. I don't even know your ass. All I see is a naked ass in your profile picture. I don't even know nothing about you, calm dumpster. And the fat ass dude, he has audacity to tell me. That's why, because I had said what I said about this fat ass girl who they keep on trying to promote on Instagram. And I'm so sick of looking at that big fat wide double back linebacker motherfucker i'm so sick and tired of looking at her ass and then they think if they put on another face somebody else's face oh that makes all the difference so that's gonna compensate for all of that high cholesterol and all these double chins and fucking nine backs 12 stomachs and shit the shit looks it still looks gross just because you put on maybelline on your two chins that don't mean a motherfucking thing to me. I still see you as a fat motherfucker. And I'm not going to celebrate that shit. Especially if you're trying to promote yourself as sexy and this and that. The shit is not sexy. It's very offensive. It's, it's insulting. Ooh, and I'm so sick of these fat motherfuckers. I'm a fat ass girl so I know what's going on. I know that niggas have to lift your motherfucking stomach to get to the pussy. I already know. You're not fooling me. Woo! You're not fooling these couches. You're not fooling these chairs. You're not fooling these motherfucking side of the shoes that get rocked over permanently. You're putting permanent dents and couches and chairs. You're not fooling me. You're not fooling this furniture out here. Woo! And Lord have mercy, I'm coming, to, I'm coming to the bank. The bank is on my mind. I'm, oh, Lord, these fat motherfuckers got me delirious. They got me delirious. I'm so sick of that security guy with them buck ass teeth. Every time I come up here, he's looking at me. But he ain't looking at the real criminals like that. I bet you I'm supposed to be going to the cell phone store because somebody's fucking with my phone. Look, look at this ragged ass car right here. Ragged ass motherfucker. In the motherfucking way, motherfucker. And... This fat ass dude, let me tell you. I want to this crack baby gonna let me get in. This this fat ass dude. Ragged ass braids on the head. This fat ass dude gonna tell me. <laughs> he gonna have the nerve to tell me a while ago on Instagram. See, that's why people like you is why people harm themselves. Oh, so drinking and drinking and driving don't have nothing to do with it. People harm themselves every day drinking and driving. What about sucking random, strange, contaminated dicks? That's a, that's a way that some people harm themselves every day. What about fucking strangers? Meeting up with strangers off of Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, all these dating sites, and don't know nothing about these motherfuckers. What about that? Ain't that a way of people harming themselves? What about... Thank you, honey. What about uh, popping pills, smoking dope, like a lot of y'all promote as recreational? <laughs> Your own president, Obama, he he promoted that shit and made and helped make it legal and fine. That's that's putting a whole lot of motherfuckers in harm's way. Huh. What about uh, having abortions? You could die having an abortion. What about that? What about hanging out in these bad neighborhoods? <laughs> what about fucking with the wrong motherfucker? You putting yourself in harm's way. There's a whole lot of ways that people putting themselves in a, and doing harm to themselves every motherfucking day. Some people commit suicide because they can't pay their motherfucking bills. Some people commit suicide because they dog died. Some people, some people commit suicide. Because they lost their job. Because they they spouse broke up with them. Or they mate broke up with them. Dumped their asses. It's a whole lot of reasons why people commit suicide every motherfucking day. So I'm supposed to withhold my opinion because I, uh, uh, somebody might commit suicide and harm themselves. That's a stupid ass reason to suppress my freedom of speech. And I will not fall for that motherfucking trick. I will not. And I will not conform to all of this ignorance of this generation. Ooh, they so lost. They so lost. They so lost. And they cannot take 
criticism. They're they allergic to criticism. They're so immature. And I, 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 ooh, I thank God I, 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 don't, I don't share the same vein as these idiots. They, ooh, they're so lost. They haven't been raised. They haven't been trained. They're just some idiots. And they're so sensitive. But then they want to turn around. They don't, don't judge. You hating. And ooh, the fat motherfucker told me that I was hating on that fat ass girl. What am I hating on? I asked him. I asked him, what am I hating on? And every time I ask these stupid ass motherfuckers, what am I hating on? They never can tell me. They just run off and, and, and don't say nothing else. Because they're too embarrassed. Because they're dumb as fuck. What am I hating on another fat motherfucker for? Another stomach? I got I got two of those. She got two stomachs. I got two stomachs. We we evil. We e not evil. Not we equal. Excuse me. I'm not evil. She evil probably. What am I hating on another fat motherfucker for? Here go one right here. Oh, fat motherfucker. He got two chins. I got two chins. What am I hating on another fat motherfucker for? He's winded. He he gets short winded when he barely take a couple of steps. I do too. He starts sweating profusely, undoubtedly, when he take a few steps. If he walk right down from this, from right here to right there, he gonna start sweating. I do too. He got chicken crumbs somewhere on 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 his bed or on his floorboard, and I do too. What am I hating on another fat motherfucker for? Diabetes, I got that too. High blood pressure, I got that too. High cholesterol, I got that too. Knowledge of where every Popeyes is, I know that too. I get it. I, 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 we, we, we pretty much on a level playing field. One fat motherfucker to another. Why would I have, what reason do I have to hate on another fat ass person? Will anybody tell me that? What reason? What reason? And then a lot of these stupid ass motherfuckers who ain't fat, they love to say anything you say that they don't like, that they oppose. They love to say that you hating on them also. And I keep on asking them, what am I hating on? They never can tell me, but they don't train themselves to repeat these same talking points because they don't know nothing else to say. They don't have any other retorts. You hating, you hate. What am I hating on? They never can tell me. You ain't got shit. But a bunch of selfies and likes on social media and a bunch of bastard babies in a wide collapsed womb. Why do I have to hate on that? You don't have no power. Most of them don't prove and demonstrate it that they don't have any power. All they have is dick sucking skills. And stupidity to post over and over and over again. Why, 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 why do I have to hate on that? A fatherless, powerless motherfucker. Whew, I'm so sick and tired of sharing airspace with these big ass dummies. I'm so sick of their ass. Whew, and they never get sick and tired of being idiots. They go to bed, an uh, idiot. They wake up, an idiot. They just idiot, idiot, idiot all day and all night. Idiotic all day and all night. They never get tired of being an idiot. I would get tired of being an idiot. But they never get tired of being an idiot. They never take a break, never go on vacation. Just an idiot, 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 idiot. Woo! And somebody's hooking up with them and falling in love and having babies. Good God Almighty. And sharing holy matrimony. It's sad. It's, it's really a sad day on the earth when the idiots share a same mindset that they have intelligence and they can tell they qualified to tell you something you're not qualified as an idiot to tell me nothing Whew. and i will not conform i will not apologize for that i'm so sick of them i'm oh i'm so sick of them i'm so sick of the ass and there's something else i want to say about these fat motherfuckers but i'm gonna stop right there and jiggle my way on into the cell phone before all these other idiots get in my way. Whew, sad. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it. Holla at your girl. Peace.